the works in a minute. The other thing NMN uh, actually did was we studied fertility in the lab, and one of the things that I'm convinced is that the ovary, being the first to fail in mammals, uh, can be protected and possibly even reversed in, it, in its aging process. And there are a lot of uh, women, I'm sure, in the audience who realize that having a career uh, interferes with having a family, and it's sometimes too late. And so what we're working on are ways to improve fertility. And these are mouse eggs. I don't know if you can see that there's a red uh, cytoplasm, but what these blue things are are the chromosomes lined up ready for fertilization. And unless your chromosomes are nicely lined up with the spindles in green to pull them apart, um, you're not going to have a healthy egg or an embryo that survives. When you get old, if you're a mouse and a human, this is a 16-month-old egg, and you can see its chromosomes are never going to produce a, a, an offspring. And that's one of the problems uh, for women when they become older. Their eggs are either gone or their chromosomes are not nicely lined up. But what was quite amazing was just after, an, again, four weeks of treatment of females, these mice produced healthy eggs, and we could have much more likely to have uh, offspring. And one of the things that's quite confusing, uh, and we're just trying to publish this work now, is that we can treat mice that have lost their fertility and they regain their ability to have offspring. And those offspring appear to be quite healthy over many generations.